Hey guys, this is Xfox here, and this is going to be a quick guide slash tutorial on how to beat, um, call, I think it's called Dustman's Karen. So here I'm giving you a quick map idea of sort of where it's at. This is an actual quest that you have to do um, when you are trying to join the companions and you're looking for work. They'll send you here to go kill the, uh, the main guy down here. So it's actually quite simple. I actually already went inside this... Um, I already went inside this cave previous when I was just running around uh, and I killed a bunch of mobs in here. So I thought that coming back here, um, you know, they probably would have been all dead, but unfortunately they're not all dead. So you can see my companion guy there is the guy that you talk to Looks like um, that uh, and recently basically sends you on the quest. So be careful if you guys already have a companion because he automatically joins your team and he kicks your companion, you know, because he can't have two. He'll go ahead and kick him and say, okay, hey, you're using me for this quest. So here, again, you see that was level 19. Um, both me and uh, this double-handed guy here, Falkir or whatever his name is, I mean, it's pretty brutal. We do a lot of damage um, output, so... Um, I didn't think we were going to have a problem with this level running through it. So here it's pretty straightforward. You're basically just going to go deeper down into these caverns again. You guys have probably already done this uh, quest. Or not even a quest. You guys have probably already gone through here just to beat it up and see what's in here. But here I'm actually doing the quest with the guy. So you're going to come down into a lower room here. Uh, again, really not a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of stuff down here. I was just trying to look around. And I really didn't see a lever or anything to pull, so, um, you know, I went over into this, uh, into this room over here to the right. Moving. Until next time. So I'm just looking around in here, really couldn't find anything to open, so I'm thinking, okay, yeah, let's, let's go in this room here, you know. Then I said, oh, hey, look, here's a lever, of course, let's go ahead and pull it, see what happens. And, of course, what happens, the thing closes on me, and, uh, there's gonna be a little cut scene here to where uh, it looks like this was sort of a setup, and you'll see it here in a second now when I go back to the gate. Into. No worries, just sit tight. I'll find the release. What was that? It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming. So you can see it was a little bit of a setup. They got a bunch of their guys here ready to go kill this guy. Doesn't matter. He wears that armor. He dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. You can see here he turns into this werewolf here and just basically tears all these guys up. So that part right there was sort of cool. I had no idea he was going to turn into a werewolf. He goes and flips the switch. I take a quick look to see if there's anything we're taking on these guys. Really nothing much. I hope I didn't scare you. He comes back and uh, gives you the it's whole, a given to some of us. you know, rundown on why oh, he was no. able to turn oh. to a wolf there. Eyes on the... We should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. So here, after that whole little spiel, uh, we're going to go ahead and go a little bit deeper into these caves. Uh, again, there's not a lot of mobs that uh, will really, you know, beat you guys up in here. You guys can pretty much... You can pretty much beat them with just one guy, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so you can pretty much beat him with just one guy, but unfortunately he tags along with uh, on this quest. And there's really not a lot of puzzles in here either. Uh, very straightforward. Just simply, you know, go through the doors that are in front of you, go from point A to point B. You do run into a few uh, rooms like this where, you know, you have a sort of a dual-handing weapon guy as well as a few archers, but all very easy to take down here. So here I'm just checking all the other stuff, seeing if there's anything we're taking. Nothing that great. Gonna go take a look in here. Of course, this is a master one. If you guys want, you can fast forward. I break that lock probably like 30 times. Um, so I just went ahead and cut it. And uh, when I finally opened it up, there was nothing really that great in there. So I didn't know why it was such a you know master uh, pick lock there. So anyway, so I went ahead and cut past that. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to go through these doors here. 
And again, just looking around to see if there's anything that, uh, you know, anything, any secret rooms, any levers. Um, again, as always, you guys, if I missed something, definitely post it in the comments so I can uh, go back and check it out. So here we continue to fight just sort of one-offs of their, uh, one-offs of the, uh, the bandits in here, but all very, very easy to beat. Here, a super easy lock to open. Again, but nothing that great in there. Uh, a soul gem as well as some gold, but nothing like a, uh, a super nice weapon or anything. So here we're going to come into this sort of uh, cave cavern room. And there's a few guys in here, but again, all very, very easy to beat. Pretty much if you were here alone without a companion, you should be able to beat them. So we got two guys up there as well as an archer up here, but he's going to go up there and pretty much just, just beat him down. So here again, we're going to continue on. Um, again, nothing, uh, you know, nothing too difficult yet. So here we're just going to continue to go deeper into the caves. Again, I'm one hitting, two hitting these guys all day long here. Go ahead and cut that guy's head off. And that is a perk, just in case you guys are wondering. Um, it is a perk for dual-handed weapons. So here we're going to start getting into the nitty-gritty here. We're going to go into Dustman's Crypt here. Um, there is still a little bit ways to go, but this is really where the, the action starts to happen. Still not a lot of guards in here, though. Um, you're still just going to face sort of the one and two offs until you face the final guy here, which you'll see in a moment. This should be. So here that guy came out of me at nowhere. I really didn't even see him hiding in the corner there. So uh, we're just going to go deeper into, uh, the, into the cave system here. So here I see a lot of action going on back there, so I run back and wanted to see what's going on. And uh, I thought it was him fighting, but it's actually um, the bandits fighting some of these skeletons down here. So depending on your level, you can actually let the bandits, you know, do a little bit of damage to some of these skeletons. You can just sort of sit back and watch and then move in, um, move in and do sort of the final blows on them if, if you wanted to. So here we're getting down to that level where they were fighting. You can see there's a skeleton. I shouldn't have let him see me. But here again, very easy. One hitting those guys all day long. 16 gold. Really, you know, not a lot, but hey, it's it's worth something, right? So here we're going to continue down into the caves. Um, I believe there is going to be a few guys right up here down in this little main room here. Yep. I was going to go in here, but I figured, ah, you know what? It's not even worth it. I don't even... Usually when I go inside these rooms, there's really nothing in here anyway. So, uh... So I believe I tried it, uh... One more time where I just said, yeah, forget it, because I only have one lock pick, pick left. So here... You're going to come in again into a sort of... A, a sort of another main room here. And again, there's a few guys in here, but again, all really easy to beat. I think this chest here had something decent in it, uh, from what I remember. Had the yeah, had the key, Dustman's uh, Karen key, as well as a steel battle axe. Again, my weapon is currently better than that one, so I didn't want to go ahead and use it. Just taking a look on the table to make sure there's uh, no, you know, just randomly placed nice objects there. And of course, we're going to go deeper into the uh, cave system here, and we're getting very close to the end here. Uh, so just hang in there with me, guys. I know it's a long tutorial, but we're getting close here. So these rats, of course, are super easy to beat, but sometimes they can be a little difficult, especially if you're fighting two or three of them. So here I go ahead and burn those guys up. C again, continue to check these uh, check these doors to see if there's anything, again, great or good that I can find in here. When I was looking through here, I thought maybe you can duck through here, I was thinking. I wasn't quite sure... Um, you know, if this is like a secret or something like that. So here I was trying to figure, okay, you think I can crawl through there? But if I crawl through there, what's, you know, what's going to happen? And of course I couldn't crawl through there. And then I learned later on that uh, you can actually, you know, you basically you go all the way around that. So here I'm just going to go around. And then of course I'm going to go into sort of the uh, the lower room here.
So here I only got one lockpick left. I get lucky on that. Go ahead and open it up. Nothing, again, it was sort of like a waste. Uh, you know, a little bit of gold, a health potion. Okay, unless I'm missing something in here. And if I am, guys, definitely leave it in the comments. So here I'm going to continue on. I'm going to take a look at the table, make sure that none of those embalmed bodies right there have anything good on them. I didn't see anything. I go ahead and just cut right here, right to the main point, so you don't got to see me run back. Go ahead and uh, kill, a four, kill, a kill some more of those skewers. I think they're called. So now we're getting real close to the uh, sort of the main cavern, I guess, or the crypt. Here you're going to fight a few more of those spiders. I thought you could bash these egg things, but I guess you can't. So you're going to run through this main uh, waterfall section here with a few, a few more of these Duger guys here. Again, this is all pretty straightforward so far. No puzzles or mazes to go through. Very, very easy and straightforward. Again, Archer, very easy uh, to kill. Just one hit him all day long. I was going to take a look up here to see if there's anything hidden back there, but didn't see anything. So I'm going to go ahead and continue down this hallway. And now we're almost to the main crypt area here. Just taking a look at some of those skeletons. Um, if any of you guys have previously done this without the quest, you, you guys will know those skeletons actually come up and fight you. Uh, but here they don't seem to do that. So uh, here we go. We're going to go into this uh, into this main room right here. So this is it. This is going to be the sort of main crypt area or room, whatever you want to call it. So what I was going to go ahead and do is just go right up here, learn this new shout. And then, of course, go ahead and uh, take the item that I was looking for. And that was pretty much it. Um, what's going to happen here was there was no boss or anything. But what happens here is a lot of those crypts that you see that are on the, along the walls are going to pop open the skeletons. So here they come. And so you don't need to kill all these guys. You can actually run out of here. But what I wanted to do, again, to get more experience is I just go ahead and kill them all since they're pretty easy. And up top that ramp there, if you wait long enough, one of those is gonna, or one of the guys is gonna bust through one of those and give you a quicker way out of here, so you don't gotta run back. So here again, you could just go ahead and kill all these guys, sort of one-offs. Again, very, very easy. Pretty much just one hit all these guys here, all these skeletons. You can see here in a moment, they're still going to be coming, popping out of their uh, their crypts here. And off to the right is where you're going to see one of them. Uh, off to the right is where you're going to see one of them pop it open and you're going to be able to go through it. Let's go ahead and just kill the rest of these guys here. No problem. This level probably would have been a lot funner if they were a little more difficult. But again, probably due to my level being 19, I'm, I think I'm a little bit higher. Uh, too high for this level when you're actually supposed to do it. So here, go ahead and check, you know, check that and see if there's anything worth uh, taking here. But really, nothing that great, especially for my guy. So uh, I just go ahead and really just leave everything in there. So here I thought that guy would have been a lot more difficult, but he was he was two shot and very easy. So here, if you take a look now, you can see where that guy just came out running up there. There's sort of a hole in the wall. That's sort of a secret door to get out of here. And basically you run through that, get out of here, and it takes you right to the beginning. So, you know, hopefully this helped any of you guys out there who uh, was sort of curious about what to expect on the mission or anybody who was looking to uh, find a quicker way are some techniques on how I was able to beat it uh, for this. So definitely check out our other Skyrim stuff. We got a ton of tutorials. Definitely subscribe to us. And thanks again for watching, guys.